we have two events A and B that are independent. We also have the probability of A, one third, and the probability of A intersection with B, one sixth. We know that as A and B are independent, we have that the probability of the intersection between A and B is equal to the multiplication of their probabilities. Substituting what we have in here, we would have one sixth, that's the probability of the intersection, equal to one third the probability of A times the probability of B. Now, the three goes to the other side of the equal multiplying and the one dividing and the probability of B would be equal to 3 divided by 6. Simplifying this, the probability of B would be 1 half. Finally, we have to calculate the probability of A and B. To obtain this probability, the formula is the probability of the first one plus the probability of the second one minus the probability of A intersection with B. But be careful, this formula can only be applied when A and B are independent events. Now we have the probability of A, one third, plus the probability of B, that is one half, minus the probability of A intersection with B, that was given at the beginning, one sixth. This is equal to the common min the minimum common multiple between these three numbers. It's obviously three six. So one third would be two sixths, one half, three sixths, and minus one sixth stays the same. The common denominator is six, so two plus three minus one is four. And simplifying this, it would be two-thirds. So the probability of A and B is two-thirds.